guys, Merry Christmas again. This is the computer game and movie haul that I promised you in my last video of my Christmas book haul. And yeah, so if you're interested in this, and this should be exciting, um, let's get started. I received, I received four computer games. Um, uh, they're all book related, so it's kind of cool. Uh, the first one, I received three Agatha Christie computer games. Um, they're all on the books, um, some books by Agatha Christie, and then there were none, which if you've watched my channel, you know that that is one of my favorite books of all time. Thank you to my seventh grade teacher who, um, had us read it because it was her favorite book as well. It's awesome. Um, Murder on the Orient Express and Evil Under the Sun. I, of course, started and then there were none first because it is one of my favorite books and it's awesome. So if you guys like computer games... Check this out because it is really fun and I love it. Okay, the next one is Nancy Drew, Ghost of the Thornton Hall. I have like probably 10 of these games. I've been playing them since I was in like sixth grade and they're awesome. They have junior and senior detective levels. So if you haven't really played them before, if you're like younger and you don't want something so difficult, you can pick the junior level. But um, now that I'm older, I'm like, I should probably pick Senior, so it's, like, hard. But they're so much fun. And just look at that cover. This is the newest one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read the little synopsis because, like the books, it has a little synopsis. Uh, Jocelyn Thornton's fateful sleepover at the abandoned Thornton estate was supposed to be a pre-wedding celebration. But the fun ended when she disappeared. While her family searches for clues, others refuse to speak about the estate's dark past. Did something supernatural happen to Jessalyn, or is someone in Thornton Hall holding something besides family secrets? So, um, I don't know if you guys can see those pictures, but they're like pictures um, in the video game, and it just looks awesome. I mean, like the graphics and everything, since I, the ones that I have are like from when I was in seventh grade and stuff, and those are still awesome, but this looks super, super good, so I'm excited. And now for the movies. These are not just any movies. I am obsessed with old movies made in 1940s, 1950s, and stuff like that. So I got um, eight movies. I'm so excited. I'm going to just have a movie marathon. Um, the first one is Some Like It Hot, starring Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. Uh, this Alrighty, round two, because my camera hates me. Um, anyways, so yeah, Some Like It Hot. This sounds really cute. I've actually never even heard of it, but I just told my mom how much I love old movies, and yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. Uh, comment down below if you've seen any of these movies I'm going to talk about, because yeah, I would love to chat about old movies with you guys, because I know they're really not that common. Um, the second is Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. Uh, this looks amazing. I'm so excited. I have heard of this one. It just, you know, Cary Grant's in it, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch all of these. The third is Roman Holiday, um, starring Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. Um, this looks super, super, super cute, and I think it takes place in Italy, and I'm going to be in Italy. Actually, at this time next year, I will be in Italy, so I am so excited because you guys know how much I talk about Italy and yes so I will be there for three weeks this time next year and I'm just so excited to read this and um I know there's a lot of like conflict between like people are like I love Audrey Hepburn oh I love Marilyn Monroe oh like I don't do that like I like them both I don't like hate one and love the other but I know like I see on Twitter and other social medias all the time but I'm definitely not like that not biased and I'm just so excited for all of these movies um, another one starring Cary Grant is An Affair to Remember. This looks awesome. Like, I can't wait. It was made in 1957. Here's like some back images from the movie. And it just looks really cute. I'm literally going to lay in my bed with my new blanket. I got some heated slippers. Uh, those are awesome because I have like old people feet. My feet are always freezing. So I don't know if it's bad blood circulation, I don't know what it is, but I'm always cold, so I'm gonna lay in bed with my blanket and my heated slippers, and I'm gonna watch all of these. Next one is Casablanca. I know you guys have probably heard of this one because it's freaking awesome, and I'm just gonna rewatch this. I'm gonna just have this on replay, if you feel me. All right, next one, starring Betty Davis. I hope you guys know who she is. 
Brickin and Ann Baxter. It's all about Eve. I love this movie. It is so amazing. Here's some pictures. Um, this movie's great. I watched it freshman year of college in my social media class, and it is like a three to four hour long movie, and it is freaking phenomenal. Like, it is awesome. So, I just love it. I'm so excited. This next one, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. It is the streetcar named Desire. I'm so excited. It looks so cute. I know my mom's obsessed with this one. Yeah. Marilyn, or Marlon Brando's in here. And look at how cute that guy is. Like, hey, what's up, boy? Like, this, is, this just looks awesome. I can't wait. I cannot wait. And the last, but not least, no, it actually is the last one. Um, it is Breakfast at Tiffany's starring beautiful Audrey Hepburn. I'm so excited. She is just so lovely. Like, can we all just address how beautiful she is? She is just gorgeous. Like, look at her attire. Like, so much class right there. So, yeah, I am so excited for all of these movies and those computer games. When I take a break from reading, I'm just going to play those computer games. I'm really not going to get off my butt for the rest of my winter break. I'm just going to be reading and watching TV, and it's going to be awesome. So, comment below. Tell me what you got for Christmas. Tell me your books. If you got computer games, movies, whatever. I love to hear it. And make sure to tell me which videos you guys would like to see besides book reviews. Um, I'm probably going to do a Christmas Day vlog because... We are heading to my family's in Chicago as well. Um, yeah, and my family, I, I like to think my family's hilarious. I mean, they just crack me up. So I'll probably film uh, some vloggish stuff there. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope everyone has a happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas. Love you all. Bye.